Okay, my beautiful friends, here we are, together again at last, post-market wrap-up on this Thursday, March 7, 2019. Um, okay, very simple, but I do have a few things I want to talk to you about. Uh, stocks finished in the negative across the board, nothing major. Dow Jones Industrial Average peeled off about 200. It was down over 300 earlier in the day. Okay, whatever. Let's Let's sit back a moment and try to understand where we are right now. Not how we got here, um, because it doesn't matter. How we got here, we could sit here and talk about, you know, in, in, until whatever. It, it won't matter. But where we are right now is, is pretty simple. Um, the stock market is in Neverland. You know, we're hearing a lot about Neverland lately. Well, it is in Neverland. Um, what I'm referring to specifically is uh, P.E. ratios, valuations, We've only been where we are right now with regard to the stock market a few times in history. And every single time, it has ended very badly, without exception. This is going to be no different here. Um, but what's going on? You got, again, we heard from the ECB today, more stimulus, recapitalizing the banks. Here in the United States, debts and deficits just continue to explode, and it can't stop. It's all that's supporting the market to keep it where it is. Once the, we are surrounded in a multiple bubble environment, the largest bubble of them all is the debt bubble. It is a financial monster. You all know that. It has got its hands around the earth. Um, unfortunately, it's going to come down on everyone. Every corner of the earth is going to suffer when the debt bubble bursts. But every effort that you can think about and things that we can't even imagine are being done to keep the debt flowing. The more debt, the stronger the world central banks become. That's it. They have become monsters among themselves. And every single world leader, every one, is playing the game, feeding their respective central bank, allowing them to keep issuing more and more of their product. Did you see what happened to the euro today? When Draghi announced, for example, today, uh, that you know they were going to be printing more, recapitalizing banks, it, it, it hurt the euro. The euro dropped substantially in value. That made the dollar stronger uh, in relation to the euro. It hurt gold and silver. You understand? That's how this whole thing works. All right. But what does that mean? for those who are holding euros. It means they have to reach deeper into their pocket to buy anything. It's, it's a deliberate act. It's a deliberate act to erase the middle class. That's it. Again, I can't stress this to you enough. It's almost laughable, and that's why I, I chuckle here. If you're a member of the middle class, and you're sitting here, and you're not saying something, doing something, I cannot stress to you enough the trouble that you are going to have at one point. When? Who knows? That's the real question, but we know it's coming. Again, the market valuations are not sustainable. The debt is not sustainable. All of this had a chance of being at least lessened, the pain, not too long ago. But right now we've reached the point of no return. There's no doubt about it. It's Neverland to the nth degree. But as usual, what happens in these, when these develop, um, people are again told everything is fine. You can look at the top of every single bubble. Let's just go back to 2008. We had our politicians telling us everything was fine. Central bank chair people, everything is fine. We had the cheerleaders on the mainstream financial channels, everything is fine. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't fine. People got thrown out of their houses. They got wiped out. Central banks stepped in, repropped up everything, bought those houses out from under people that were thrown out in their street, in the street, reinflated a housing bubble to make those now toxic assets be worth something. And now they are. I think those people should be compensated, if you ask me, but because this is the deliberate act too, to reinflate these assets, to reinflate the stock market. That's it, and it's going to end terribly. Not saying it's going to end today or tomorrow. And I'm not saying we're seeing the top right now. I, we're in a short term top. That has proven to be true. So I nailed that one to the wall. 
had a very good day today trading. Um, anyway, I want you to think about these things and try to put these into perspective and understand where we are. Understand how this is manifesting itself today and what you believe is the most likely scenario to unfold. And you can see very clearly, again, that the middle class is being set up. Set up for a grand fleecing like has never been seen before. And that's why I, I still say, whatever, who, whomever of you is a member of the middle class here, um, you need to, um, you really need to rethink about the environment you're in and what you can do for yourself at this point because it's going to it's going to turn don't know when could be now could be a year from now it could be two years from now i don't know but it's going to and you need to think a little bit ahead about what it means for you what would it mean for you if the value of your house plummeted what would it mean for you if the value of your investments evaporated? What would it mean for you if the value of the dollars that you are holding were cut in half? What would it mean for you and your family? Because these, this is a very real scenario um, plan, uh, moving forward here. This is why, again, and I've been saying this now for, I don't know, a decade, bet against that debt, become your own central bank, let them play the games they're gonna play with hard assets like gold and silver. Um, I still believe these are the most undervalued assets in the history of mankind, physical silver more so. Uh, and this entire environment is going to correct to fair value. The delusion, the Neverland, is going to become a very real land for a great multitude of people. And in a worst case scenario, if this ends up that way, we will no longer have a middle class. We will end up in a two-tier society. We will see a second Great Depression, which will eclipse the last one. This, this has got to be a deliberate act where world leaders are acting in concert, all of them, with their central banks to bring this about. There is no other logical explanation for it. All right, with that said, I love all of you. If this is important, please share it. See you in the morning.